We have a Randy Orton promo, and then absolutely, totally, randomly out of nowhere, after all of these months, they say, coming up next, a tables match. Go to commercial and we come back, and it is Lana versus Nia Jax in a tables match. Well, it does stem from stuff that's happened. I, I mean know that, but announce it. Why they didn't announce this anywhere? Not social media, not the show last week. Not the show this week. Com yeah, I mean, literally right before this match happened, they announced it was going to take place next. I was like, are I was, you kidding I was me? I was astounded. I will say that I was astounded when, like when they said the tables match, I actually did think, okay, it's Lana and Nia Jax. I did think that immediately because of that program that hasn't been concluded and that Lana was probably going to win too. Um, but yeah. They just, there it was. And then, you know, I mean, the match was exactly what I expected it to be. You know, it's like Nia Jax lost. It was a fluky table Oh, thing. Dave, this match is going down in history. They're doing this match. It's not very good. And... Well, you know, okay. It really, they, they played to their strengths, okay? Which... Nia is, beat her up and Lana yeah. cried. Right, that's what it was. Okay. That they played, yes, that's they played to their strengths, but this was not a good match. I would not. I would not call it a good match, but it was the, it was the best match they were going to have. Like if they did something else, it wouldn't have been as good. So it's Lana and Nia Jax. It's like how that's this is this is the best way to do Lana and Nia Jax. And at the end, you know, it was it was totally like looked like a fluke ending. I mean, because Nia Jax just beat the hell out of her until the last what. 20 seconds Dude, let's not bury the lead here. They end up on the apron, and Nia Jax goes running, and she goes for a leg drop on the apron, which, by the way, she gets no height. She just puts her leg up and sits down. But she does that every... That, that is, that's her leg drop. Lana moves out of the way, and Nia sells it like she has broken every bone in her body. She starts screaming at the top of the lungs, and then she says, and I quote, Oh, my butt... My hole. Yeah, that's what you said. I was crying with laughter. Yeah. They, it totally turned this whole thing into bullshit comedy. Lana then goes and shoves her through this table. I mean, it was like the, the, the most... It was the most fluky... It was the weakest table match finish I've ever seen because it wasn't... It isn't like, you know, in every table match, the table is sat on the floor and you throw someone and they go through the table this is this table that is up in the corner and it just shoves her and nia Jax just goes you know the table breaks dude it was not only a fluky finish but nia screaming my hole on national television she just turned this into total ha ha stupid comedy it was impossible to take seriously lana got nothing out of this my whole trended on Twitter for hours afterwards. There's animated GIFs all over the internet. They bleeped it out of the YouTube version. It's like all comedy now. So they got nothing out of this. A, a, a feud that has been going on for months now. Well, a obviously match out of nowhere. A comedy finish. Holy smokes. What a okay. waste of my time. Okay, but here's the thing. Obviously, they didn't see this as a pay-per-view match or even a marquee television match because if they did they would have advertised it so it was just a way to get that payoff because she went through the table eight times and at some point she was going to beat her in a tables match and they weren't going to have her it isn't like she's going to suplex her through a table i mean and it's not like they're going to have a great tables match so it was just like let's complete the story since we did do the story for months what a payoff why even bother her eliminating her Just, from the Rumble was a better payoff than this. True. This made the whole thing into comedy. Well, that's true. But they did pay it off. They they did end the story, although I'm sure the story's not over because we got the tag team match Yes, because Shane attacks Naomi and Lana. Naomi sends her packing. We come back for a match, and it's a quick match, and Shayna goes outside and beats the shit out of Lana again. So a lot of good that table win did her. And she's that, thoroughly destroyed. That, but, you know, this is what Lana's role is. Lana's role is to get the shit beat out of her and cry. That is her role. Whether it's good or bad, that's her deal. 
Well, it doesn't seem to have get. gotten her over if they only had faith in putting this unadvertised and buried in the middle of the third hour. Yeah, that's true. So she's destroyed, and Shayna gets in the ring, and Naomi pins her with a sloppy small package. So there you go. I guess I guess we'll be getting well, championship up, you matches. You know, they, they had they had the uh, two challengers beat the two champions, and we'll get the tag title match. Uh, I don't know if it'll be on the pay per view or on TV, but we're getting it. We're you know we should get it in a couple weeks. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.